I thought I'd do a quick one on some dimensioning features. I'm not going to have time to keep this thing short and talk about all of them, obviously. But if we deal with aligned dimensions for a moment, we have a preference option for the location of the wall that we'd like to dimension. If I want to dimension to the face of these walls, for example, I can do that. If I leave pick individual reference on, I can go from the major portions of the building, so to speak, and drop in dimension strings. I can then do you know, an overall dimension string above that. If I change it from individual to entire walls, then I have the ability to choose which part of openings I'd like to dimension and any intersecting walls that might occur, as well as any grids. If I leave it a, a set of centers in this case, assuming wood construction, which is a fairly common approach here in the States, it doesn't really sense or pick up on this arc wall, which I can live with. Uh, if I go to here, and then grab this one, come over here, and this dimension string will drop in nicely. <clears throat> if I want to dimension these windows, I can use this arc length option, which allows you to pick an arc, and again, then you want to pick the part of the, the wall that defines the radius or the arc that you're interested in dimensioning to. But if I grab this, grab a window center line, another window center line, another window center line, and yet another, I can park this dimension string here. And I can put another one using this reference plane in this window and this window just to demonstrate that it's equally spaced. If you find, you notice that blue dashed line showed up, that's a property. Dimension line snap distance that governs the behavior of the spacing. Helps you make sure that your dimensions are equally spaced when they print. So that's a quarter inch on printed paper, depending on the scale, of course. <coughs> Now, uh, if I have a closer look down below here, for example, I've got an interesting situation. I'd like, just for the sake of communicating to someone what this distance is, that's not a primary design element, so I could use the linear dimension first. And there's a very subtle, it's actually highlighting that point. And if I click on it, I can grab this point and that point and dimension from there to there. I can do the same thing, but go the other direction to drop in a dimension for this thing. Again, it's sort of informative. Then I can use an align dimension, and if I tab extensively, I can finally grab that point. And notice that square dot that showed up when I did it. Click, now I can dimension to there. And what I would do for this is use a different dimension style. Choose one that I've used some rounding criteria. And then I can override the dimension to include a suffix. <clears throat> Gives me some options there. When it comes to angles, I can put a dimension across these two faces. I've customized the angle dimension format a little bit <clears throat> so that I can see arrowheads instead of tick marks. Again, you just have to be careful to pick on the faces that you'd like to dimension and decide which side, which angle you're trying to talk about. Same kind of process here. We can use uh, radial to talk about this. Radial to the outside face of the wall. Radial to the inside face of this arc. I can turn on the center line option, but in some cases perhaps you want to just do this. The center line option is part of the settings so you can tell it to turn on the center marks so there's the center mark of the uh, arc I could do the same thing for this wall annotate radial grab the outside face park that there and then if I want to I could pull this grip actually pull it outside the wall if that makes it easier to read pull it inside you can move this around obviously a leader can spring from it uh, you could turn off the leader so that the dimension string could sit there if you really wanted that, so no leader. So you could do something like this if you felt like that would communicate what you wanted to do better. <coughs> so it's got a lot of features. Uh, there are some quirky aspects of having to tab to select things, but uh, that's a brief uh, run through some of the dimension features. Hope it helps.